Erie International Airport Tom Ridge Field IATA, ARI, ICAO, CARI, FAA LID, ARI is a public airport 5 miles 8 km southwest of Erie, in Erie County. Airline service at Erie faces stiff competition from the Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Buffalo, and Toronto airports, all within three hours of Erie by car. In 2004 Erie was the third fastest growing airport in the United States, and the fastest growing airport in Pennsylvania. It is 128 miles 206 km from Pittsburgh, 111 miles 179 km from the Canada-US border, 95 miles 153 km from Cleveland, Ohio and 105 miles 169 km from Buffalo, New York. History History In 1924, Roger Griswold purchased 22.12 acres 9 .0 hectares of land 6 miles 10 km west of Erie at the intersection of West Lake and Asbury Roads for use as an airfield. Soon after, a flight training school was based at the field. In 1927, as part of a nationwide tour by Charles Lindbergh after his transatlantic flight, Erie was selected as one of the cities where Lindbergh would make a brief stopover. However, as Griswold Field proved inadequate for the larger spirit of St. Louis to land and an alternative site could not be located, a flyover by Lindbergh had to suffice. This event showed the need for a proper airport and prompted the Erie City Council to examine the possibility of establishing a municipal airport. City Council was, initially, favoring a site one half mile .8 east of Wesleyville for a municipal airport. However, Lieutenant Jimmy Doolittle commented on the distance between it and the city. Doolittle noted that, You might as well take 40 minutes more and go on to Cleveland. After recommendations made by Lindbergh to a congressional committee that no airport less than 1 square mile square kilometers be approved, the Planning Commission for Erie's Airport began to reevaluate the site they chose. Griswold Field officially closed in 1929 when Griswold moved to Long Island, but aircraft and the flight school continued to use it. That year, two airfields were established one on land adjacent to the former Griswold Field, and another in Kearsarg that is now the site of the Mill Creek Mall. American Airlines, began Port Erie Airport's first commercial passenger and airmail service in June 1938. Prior to September 11, 2001 the airport was at its height with U.S. Airways mainline jets to Pittsburgh and international service to Toronto. After 9-11 U.S. Airways replaced 737s and DC-9s with regional jets. As air service rebounded in the mid-2000s, U.S. Airways Express flew to Pittsburgh, Philadelphia and Charlotte, Northwest Airlink to Detroit, Continental Connection to Cleveland, and Delta Connection to Cincinnati and Atlanta. On August 22, 2018, Derek Martin was named Executive Director of the airport. Current operations The airport is reportedly looking to expand service to New York Newark and other cities. U.S. Airways discontinued Charlotte flights in 2006. Delta Air Lines discontinued Atlanta flights on September 6, 2007. In early 2008 U.S. Airways discontinued Pittsburgh flights. As of November 2017, American Eagle service is two flights daily to Philadelphia on the ERJ-145, Delta Connection has three flights daily to Detroit with CRJ-200 regional jets, and United Express has two flights daily to Chicago O'Hare also with CRJ-200. Runway <inaudible> <inaudible> extension <inaudible> <inaudible> The 1,920-foot extension of runway 6 24 was opened on November 8, 2012. The total cost of the project was $80.5 million, or approximately $5 million under budget. Owing to a mild winter in 2011–2012 that did not hinder construction work, the extension was also completed two years ahead of schedule. Facilities 
Erie International – Tom Ridge Field covers 450 acres 182 hectares and has two runways Runway 2 20 3,508 feet x 150 feet 1,069 meters x 46 meters, surface, asphalt Runway 6 24 8,420 feet x 150 feet 2,566 meters x 46 meters, surface, asphalt, concrete The airport has a passenger terminal building which opened in 1958 and has had several expansions and upgrades since its construction. The 1970s saw expansions to baggage claim facilities and later an office expansion for FAA office facilities on the second floor. A ticketing area on the western end of the terminal building was added in 1990. Upgrades to the lobby area and boarding gates and passenger boarding bridges followed in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The first floor of the passenger terminal building which houses the baggage claim, check-in desks, rental car counters, café, TSA checkpoint and boarding gate areas occupies approximately 43,200 square feet. The terminal has 7 gates, 3 with jet bridges for regional aircraft. Current regularly occupied gates are Gate 1 United Express Air Wisconsin, Gate 5 Delta Connection SkyWest, Gate 7 American Eagle Piedmont Airlines. Airlines and destinations Passenger Cargo Statistics Topic Top Destinations Topic Annual Traffic Topic Ground Transportation Taxis can reach the airport. Two Erie Metropolitan Transit Authority bus routes stop at the airport. Avis Rent a Car System, Enterprise Rent a Car, the Hertz Corporation, and National Car Rental have car rental counters. Topic: <laughs> Accidents and Incidents. In 1986, U.S. Air Flight 499, a DC-9, arriving from Toronto Pearson International Airport, landed on snow-covered runway 24, and slid off the runway to rest over Asbury Road on the western perimeter of the airport. In 1984, a Spirit Airlines chartered flight, a DC-9 carrying a football team, landed in snowy conditions on a soft patch of land next to the runway. On January 5, 2006, PSA Airlines Flight 1355 had a tire on the left landing gear burst with no injuries. On September 21, 2017, Delta Connection Flight 4906 en route from Detroit to Greater Rochester International Airport declared an emergency and landed at Erie due to an engine sensor indicating a reverse thruster was deployed. The aircraft landed without incident and the problem was traced to a faulty sensor. <laughs> 